Speaking of high land values, high value crops, there's some 400 crops grown in the state of California and water remains a very big worry. Here's Chad. So we know there's a lot of drought conversation in the West, particular here in the high value crops in Central California. As we mentioned last week on the show, I had an opportunity to catch up with Martin Hein from the Hein Ranch Company. And Martin farms a lot of different crops, but the one thing I've noticed in coming out here now for, I guess, over six years is a transition where instead of pulling out almonds and putting back almonds, they're going to some different crops that have some different uses, largely because of that intense conversation about water. Yeah, you're right, Chad. This water situation's turned out to be even worse than what we had thought. Back around Christmas time when we didn't see any cold weather, or any storms coming here in the California, everyone starts preparing for the worst. And our reality is, is it's getting worse. It's even worse than 2015. We've been removing almond orchards, um, replanting those with pistachios. Um, normally we'd uh, grow almonds for 25 years, but the longevity of a pistachio will be well beyond my lifetime, 60, 80, 100 years from today. And they use less water. And so we need to start being more cognizant and more aware of the the water situation and uh, the value of that water and our ability to grow productive crops and, and actually make money. The, the cost of water continues to go up here in California. He took me around here. We talked about his lemons. Pretty curious to know why he was taking all the lemons off these lemon trees that looked really good, but I did understand why and it made a lot of sense hearing it from Martin. This block of lemons here, they're not even two years old and they're growing fruit, but just not enough for us to harvest. So we had a crew come through here this week and drop it onto the ground so we can allow us ourselves to, to grow a large tree so we can get into commercial production. Over here, these are our Pinot Noir wine grapes and we've got a nice crop coming, but again, trying to maintain and use all of our resources, we actually interplanted a second row and went from a 10 foot row spacing to five foot rows. So we're trying to create competition, not grow so much vegetation and trying to create more fruit per acre of quality wine grapes. For This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby.